the banger bait shop. If you guys didn't know already, you can save 10% off by using my code JIGGIN at GUGANSQUAD.COM. Yes, indeed the title is correct. I am opening and starting my very own bait shop. Brandon's Bait Shop, Jig and Tackle. I don't know, the name is up to you. Uh, this wall on my back building is something that I have had in my mind for the longest time. Ever since we rebuilt this whole building, I wanted to have really cool baits up here just like a tackle store. My friends, over at Guggen, the Guggen Squad. They told me, you have an unlimited budget. Go on GuggenSquad.com, get whatever bait you want and create a real life Brandon's Bait Shop with Guggen Tackle. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we did just that. What's way heavier? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whatever the postal people get paid, they should definitely get a raise just for this package specifically. It's the first time in my life I had a really big package, you know what I mean? This right here, this whole stack of items is, uh, I think, right under $6,000 of bait. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have some organizing to do, Trav. If all of the boxes look like this, we are screwed, brother. Oh, dude, that's cool looking. No, look at that. Don't look at me. Look at that. All the freaking frogs. Oh, and you know we're in Florida. Finally, we're gonna have a scale so we can weigh the big girls. Oh my gosh. This is a cool box. We'll break into that one. It's like, I feel confident right here. That, that's a disaster. Gosh, dude, how many frogs did I get? Oh my God. Oh, these are popping frogs. That makes more sense. And oh, look, look, look. So see how they're bandaged up like that? Thank God. I wish they would have done that over there. <laughs> All right, so we got a ton of baits. We also got some rods. Which is very exciting. Sick. All right, so we got four gold muscles and then three go-tos. All I use is the muscle and the go-to. They have like the twitch, the finesse, all that stuff. I'm in Florida, so I'm cranking fish out of weeds, so I need the muscle rod, but then the go-to rod for me is just a good all-around rod. So they're the only two I use, so that's the only two I order, but they have a bunch more. Seriously, looking at all these boxes, it is, uh, it's quite ridiculous. So we've got this giant, I mean, th these boxes are thick. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but we've got just an endless amount of soft plastics. We've got all the frogs and uh, we've got, the weighing, the scales, stuff like that. And then we also have a bunch more poppers. Uh, we've got some freaking zingers down there. We've got some hard baits down there. So we've got a bunch of boxes. We've got the rods. It's gonna say, use code JIGGIN to save 10% at GuggenSquad.com. All in bright green letters right on top of this. So you guys know in the videos when I'm grabbing baits and going out to the Jig and Jet and just catching some big old bass for the pond, you know, you guys can get all of this stuff in the whole unboxing where you use my code JIGGIN to save 10% at GuggenSquad.com. So this is basically how we're gonna do this. There's a bunch of different baits in here, but there's also just a bunch of the same bait with different colors. So I think what we're gonna do is just dump each box out and then start building the piles of the different baits. And this is gonna take a long time. But once we do that and get them all in their own individual piles over here, we'll go over to the board, we have the hooks. And then we'll put one hook in grab one bait and just kind of fitting them to the wall is gonna be a task in itself. So let's organize them first, then we'll be able to fit them. Cause if we try to do both at the same time, it's just gonna take forever. So let's go ahead, dump this big girl out. Oh my gosh. Whatever organization we had, Travis, it is now officially gone, brother. <laughs> number one complete box number two and three to go but here's our pattern of organization because it's absolutely necessary with this we got everything together color coordinated and then we've got all the bandito bugs here mondo worms we got slim shakes we got all the blazing worms here so we got just all of them and then also color coordinated 
And then I have a few little hard baits here. One thing I did not realize when I bought an absolute megaton of bandito bugs, somehow I bought all the juniors. I think I forgot to switch the size. So just know if you end up with a 3.3 incher, that's the junior. <laughs> was cool that box had a bunch of terminal tackle we've got two sets of these guys a bunch of line some of the clutches the frogs and a bunch more soft plastics oh we've got these guys over here too um so while we're getting this settled up here we do have one more box and uh i really don't know what else is in that i don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all this stuff on there i could be wrong but it's gonna be very tight. Oh, bro, there's something exciting in here. Oh, I don't wanna dump it out because I think they have it all organized correctly, but we gotta do it. <laughs> the freaking, oh, the saucy swimmers, dude. That wraps it up on the boxes. Look at these guys. John B's been whacking 14 pounders daily on the saucy. So I had to step it up and get some saucies. I think we do have some different size. Yeah, we've got, the 4.8 inch, we've got, this is the 3.8 inch. I don't think I got any bigger than those, but I think the bass are gonna be freaking smashing these in the backyard. So I know they just had them all organized for us, but it's the name of the game for content. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to it. <laughs> There's a rabbit. He's eating. Hold on, hold on. I gotta drop the ISO. <laughs> Look, he's got a little grass, dude. That's the rabbit that my dog freaking chases every freaking day. That is hilarious. Brother, you got lucky. You got lucky today, brother. <laughs> Just getting after it. Like I was trying to say before, I was rudely interrupted by a backyard swamp rabbit. We have officially finished. Almost, because I have a surprise, but Let's take a look at everything. We've got everything finally organized. Well, for the most part, I do have some other stuff that is gonna be very monotonous to organize, but check this out. So I was very inspired by John B with all the saucy swimmers, got two different sizes. We've got all our hard baits here. Now they have a ton more hard baits, but I don't use hard baits that much. So I got what I would use. So the Scout, we've got the revolver, the clutch and the contender. I mean, look at that freaking guy. That's freaking dope. The jigs because, well, you can't be jigging with Jordan if you're not jigging at all. You know what I'm saying? We got some different hooks. We've got these guys in line. We went over all that. We've got the assortment of frogs. Now, mind you, this is the Florida special right here. And those frogs go thick. There's a bunch of them there. And then we have our massive array of soft plastics. So we've got the trench hogs here, which I love those. We've got the five inch lunker logs here. We've got the crack and crawls, which I believe I accidentally bought junior edition, all these as well. They're all three inch, so sick. And then we have this, which is gonna be super good. We've got the nuke punch, all different colors for the backyard. Right out there, we have a bunch of flipping opportunities and punching opportunities. So it's basically the bandito bug, but in a nuke punch format. Right next to that, we have my accidental all junior bandito bugs, but it's fine. I like those anyway. And the longest out of the whole line are the Mondo worms. I love Mondo worms. They are my all time favorite Guggen bait ever. I have smashed so many just Mondos on the Mondo worm. And I used to hate fishing worms before the Mondo worm came out. I never really liked fishing with the worm at all. But then I was like, well, the boys made a worm. Let's try it out, you know? And to toss it out and just fish after fish on the brush piles, which is super sick, so. We also have the Slim Shakes, which I haven't really used too much of, so I got a little bit of those, but we're gonna try them out. These guys right here are the freaking showstoppers. These are brand new. These are the Blazing Worms. They basically rip through the grass, top water, through the pads, basically everything you need in the structure. 
these things get smashed by fish too. Then nicely packaged for us are the Guggen Toad. I really wish they would have called this the Splode Toad. It's a top water soft bait toad. And then last but not least, we have the Guggen Dart. You guys remember when I first started fishing on YouTube, I would always use a fluke. Always, 100% of the time. Ever since my boys again came out with the Guggen baits, I've been using white darts. These guys, to be exact. White Pearl Shad is the name of this color and they get freaking deep throated by the giants. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's basically take this whole big array and uh, figure out how we're gonna fit it to the wall. That's gonna be the complicated part. We've got this side done. This is most of the soft plastics. We still have, I know they're called a Guggen Toad, but I'm calling this mother fricker the Splode Toad, man. We still got the Splode Toads. They wouldn't fit on the wall. It would be a little off. So Trav behind the camera was like, you know what? Put them on the top water side by the other frogs and stuff like that. I was like, it's freaking brilliant. So that's where we're gonna be putting these guys and uh, all the terminal tackle. And then we still have all the hard baits, all the frogs, and the saucy swimmers. The saucy swimmers are taking up a lot of freaking space. So we're gonna have to figure that out. We might have to move the old Red Bull machine, but uh, let's get back into the time lapse of putting hooks up and figuring out where stuff goes. Can you believe that, Trap? Can you believe it? Uh, yeah, I know, honestly. I don't know how we got so lucky. When we started placing everything on the floor, I was like, there's absolutely no way this is gonna fit on the wall. Especially when I saw the saucy swimmers, I was like, we're screwed. The saucy swimmers take up so much space, but all of these baits right here, down here, they still have to go on the wall and there's a ton of them. But the good news is one of each of those baits is on the wall. And Trav, if we accidentally messed up and we like missed one color and we find that out here in a minute, uh, I'm literally just gonna shove it into a drawer. I'm not even gonna try to put it on the wall. I'll show it full also, but freaking look at this, man. This is a freaking work of art. I also ran out of uh, different hanger things, so we had to use different hangers. It's a whole different deal. Uh, by the way, this YouTube plaque thing just stays here because I got a big ugly outlet there. So if you're curious about that, that's the, uh, that's the deal there. So we've got the beautiful Guggen soft plastics wall. We do have some saucy swimmers down there to take up some space. Those are the only uh, three, or no, those are the four inches. Those are the big boys. So we've got that. And then this wall turned out so cool. This is a lot smaller wall than that one. So it worked out perfectly. We have the freaking splode toads up here. We've got all the frogs. We've got the clutches, the big contenders. We've got our saucy swimmers. Surprisingly, they only took that much area right there. And this is what I went and picked up the other day, all the terminal tackle. But, oh, we also have to install the rods to the wall. Don't, don't think I forgot about that. We definitely got to do that. And we got to get vinyl, which is going to be a whole different thing. So I might have to update you in a later video because I got to go get that printed out, put it on the wall. It's a whole thing. The thing is we have to get all these guys right here on the wall. So we got to just basically grab the pack, match the color, put it in its correct position. So we'll run one more time lapse and uh, get cranking on this wall. But God dang, it looks freaking good in it. Smells like slaunch sauce in here. This is the beginning. Also want to mention that these packs right here, they are so freaking slimy. So plenty of uh, sauce on these guys. What? That's amazing. It's the bad news. We don't got any uh, banditos up there. That's actually funny. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Pretty sure. Nope, we don't have any up We do not have any banditos up there, brother. We overshot about three thousand dollars worth of banditos. <laughs> Mine is about 500 baby dough bugs. 
we what we need to do is we need to count how many bandito bugs are in each pack and then see how many packs we have and see legitimately how many bandito bugs we don't have on the wall and uh yeah remember how i accidentally bought the the junior banditos turns out we also forgot to put the banditos on the wall <laughs> And there is zero room. There is zero room for the banditos. Oh, I can put them in the Guggen tote. We have Guggen toters. I'll, we'll just put those in there. So they're nine packs, five of each color. Just count it as 10, because it was double. 450 individual bandito bugs? <laughs> oh my God. That is so ridiculous. Bro. The banger bait shop. It's pretty good. We got the banger podcast over there. Banger bait shop is pretty freaking fire. I like that a lot. I think we might go with that. All 450 Dieter bugs. <laughs> right in the Guggen toes, baby. We're back at local wraps. They have literally, we were talking about it when I pulled up. They've literally touched every vehicle and boat that I own. And now we have this beautiful green color to finish off Brandon's bait shop. What do we call it? The banger bait shop? All right, we're officially about to get our discounts here at GuggenSquad.com. Don't you guys worry, 10% off. Use my code. Oh, movement, it's happening. I really hope I'm pulling the ring. Right. <laughs> I think so. I think I got it. If you guys didn't know already, you can save 10% off by using my code, Jiggin, at GuggenSquad.com. I didn't do all of this for you not to use the code, you know? Oh, shoot. <laughs> all right, we have got the vinyl, so we've also got a bunch of other surprise items because we're working on multiple videos at once because your boy is a freaking madman. Okay, I'm ready to get back into the game, I'm ready to get my filming on. And it's a completely different day than the bait shop day that we first started. But let's get these freaking graphics set up. Let's make sure my calculations were correct because if they weren't, we are completely screwed and we can't put any of this up. So let's just, I guess, start the time lapse and figure it out. Let's do it. All right, this is a hard cut. I have no clue what day this actually is now that you're watching it. Um, we took some time in between, but ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you the official Banger Bait Shop sponsored by Guggen Squad. All right, so we've got the bait wall here, which you guys have already seen this. However, now you guys see the money maker. You guys can use code Jiggin to save 10% off. It actually looks so great on camera. But when you actually come in here, it doesn't look as great. It does look great on camera though, and sometimes that's all that matters. So we have that right there. Of course, you know, we've got our Guggen bags with, you know, five million junior bandito bugs inside this tote because we didn't have any more peg space. <laughs> we've got this wall of baits right here. This is probably my favorite. I thought this was gonna be my least favorite, but uh, I don't know, it's just the way like all these stack up, it just looks so, so full. And then I've got a couple of little rods down there because we've got all of our Guggen Squad rods right here. Guggen sent us a bunch of rods and check this out. We actually have a big GS logo going there. I put that up with the vinyl, but I don't know. It just wasn't right. It wasn't sticking to the wall. We also have a huge vinyl strip that says at GuggenSquad.com. So the whole thing will read code Jig and 10% off at GuggenSquad.com. But I am one of those people, like if something is not 100%, then I kind of don't want to do it. I only like doing big ideas, but I'm not afraid to scrap a whole idea if it doesn't work well, if that makes sense. But uh, the bait wall works so great. The banger bait shop works so good. I just really, I gotta get a professional to come in and do the vinyl. Um, it's something I really wanna do, or maybe like a big light up Guggen Squad GS over there by the rods could be kinda cool. So I don't know, comment below your suggestions, but the bait shop is open for business. And by open for business, I mean, we're gonna start making some fishing videos with these baits going and getting some big pets for the backyard pond. So Guggen Squad, thank you guys so much. This bait wall costs over $6,000 and that literally would not be financially responsible for myself to do. So Guggen Squad took the cover of that charge. They footed the bill on this and they basically hooked me up for years 
worth of fishing stuff. So Guggen Squad, thank you guys so much. Anything on the wall, any of the totes, any of the tackle boxes, anything you want at GuggenSquad.com, all you gotta do is use code JIGGIN to save 10% off. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. All of these baits are gonna be used with the Jiggin Jet Boat. Once we get it done, it's gonna be a beautiful little thing once we get it all together. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next adventure, maybe here in the Bangor Bait Shop. See ya.